Are you taking your pets on an international trip? Then this video is going to share with you everything you need to make your pet's trip a success. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about stuff your pet needs when they travel overseas. And my dogs have lived on three continents in the last seven years, so we know a thing or two about traveling with dogs. But don't worry for you cat folks out there, I also have some cat items towards the end of the video, so be sure you stick around. All right guys, in case you haven't figured it out, today I'm gonna share with you all the must-haves that we use every single time we take an international trip with our dogs. So I've got some items here on the desk with me, and then I have some items that I'll also share with you on the video. So let's dive in. So the first thing is going to be the most important, and that is going to be the dog crate. And these here that we have, we have been using them since 2014. We took them to Angola and also Argentina. And you want to make sure when you're looking for a dog crate that they are able to stand up and turn around in a circle. And that way they will have plenty of space to make the trip with. And if you're planning on putting your dog underneath the plane, so in cargo, you're going to want to get a hard crate like these. So be sure that you don't put a soft crate underneath the plane because sometimes they can get knocked around and jostled a little bit more. But if you're in a large hard crate, your animal will be a lot safer. All right, guys, speaking of crates, so we have the hard crates for underneath the plane, and then we also have the soft crates for underneath your plane seat. So if your dog is going with you on the airplane, you're going to want to bring a soft-sided crate. So this is the one that we used when we came from Buenos Aires back to Houston. Um, so there's plenty, you can see there's plenty of mesh area for them to be able to breathe. There's mesh on the top as well. Um, and these worked really well. There's, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a small padding in there. So definitely I will leave a link to everything that I'm talking about below in the description box. So you can head down there and get links to everything that I'm talking about. And you can just go straight over, purchase what you need, and your dog will be very happy. All right, to go along with your dog crates, whether you're using a soft crate or a hard crate, I highly recommend putting a puppy pad as a liner on top of the padding that's already in your crate. A lot of the flights you're gonna be taking, especially if they're international, are going to be several hours long. When we moved to Angola, for example, the flight was, I believe, 14 hours. And unfortunately, one of our dogs did go to the bathroom, I think a few times in her crate, but luckily I had the puppy pads laid out so they helped absorb some of the wetness. And I'm really glad that I did that because I think it helped make the trip a little bit more comfortable for her. All right, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is this little water bottle right here. And I really like it because it is something where you can keep water in it and then you lift it up and the water will come down and your pup can drink from the water right here. And it's really easy to take with you. You can put it empty or you can empty it and take it on the airplane with you. And then when you get on the plane, put some of your own water in it or use water from the bathroom. Um, it's really great. Even when you're just at home, maybe if you're not traveling, um, but you're going on a walk with your pet and it's really warm and you're not sure if you'll have access to water wherever you're going or hiking, um, you can put this, they have a little hook here. You can put it on your leash and fill it with water. And that way you always have water for your dog. Um, so yeah, this has been really useful. We've been using this for several years now. Just spilled some water. <laughs> We've been using it probably since 2012-ish, um, and it's been really great. So I will link one of these below for you guys to get today. All right, this next one's really basic, but I'm still gonna bring it up. And that is a good leash. We like these con leashes. They're very sturdy and strong. Um, I have used this one for, you can see it's pretty feet up there, but I have been using this one for years and years and years with Herbie, um, and it's been working great. So make sure you have a good leash. And to go along with the leash, since I already have it on here, this is really dirty because we have been using it for years and years. And this is Herbie's Gooby Vest, and I absolutely love them. I love how it's bright. It used to be a little bit brighter. I'll share a picture here. Um, but it's a great vest. So this leash has been really helpful with us. We have taken it to Africa, we've taken it to South America, and of course used it here in Texas. So I definitely recommend the Kong leashes and these Gooby vests, they're amazing. All right, so your dog is inevitably going to get a little bit cranky on the trip and you can just give them a treat or two to keep them happy if they're getting a little barky or whiny. 
Um, I don't do any airplane travel without a few treats on me because I definitely have used them in the past. The next thing are the Ziploc space bags. And because I've talked about them before on this channel, I see a few of you have already gone on and purchased some. They are amazing, you probably already know, but I use these also not only for packing clothes and everything, but in regards to your pets, I will put the dog bed in them because it's just all um, cloth and uh, cotton in there. So it's really easy to take a big dog bed and compress it all the way down with no air. And I'll also throw in some of their toys. So their stuffed animal toys, compress those down and I can that way put their dog bed in my suitcase. And that way, when we get to our new destination, when it's a completely unfamiliar country, at least they will have their dog bed from home. And so they'll feel a little bit more at home or a little bit more safe. The next thing is going to be some dog food. And while here I have a large bag, we're actually talking more about a small Ziploc bag that you can put food in and put it on top of their crate. And I will share a video here. I always like to have a little bit of food on their crate. That way, if the worst happens and we get separated, or if, it's a, if there's a layover and your dog doesn't get on the second flight with you, at least the caretakers or you know the airport security, they will have some kind of food, something to give to your dog. And so I always like to make sure I put a dog food, a bag of dog food on top of the, on top of the crate. And this is Peanut and Herbie's favorite is Lotus, small bites because we have small dogs. Um, and so I'll just fill a sandwich size Ziploc bag and tape it to the top. And that way I know that if the worst happens, they will at least have some food. All right guys, at some point your dog is going to have to go number two. So be sure to get some doggy bags. I literally, I really love these because they're biodegradable. So it makes you feel a little bit better when you have to use a dog bag all the time, you know, several times a day, at least when you're throwing them out, they're not plastic, so they can biodegrade. So I highly suggest these. And again, it's going to happen. So just be sure you're prepared, have some on you at all times when you're traveling. The next item are these live animal stickers. And I think they're really important to make sure you have on your crate because it might be obvious to you that there's a dog in the crate. Um, but when you think about the luggage handlers, I mean, they're handling thousands of pieces of luggage, luggage each day. They don't necessarily know that there's a dog in there or they might, you know, they're so preoccupied, they just grab it and they don't realize there's a live animal in there. So I really like to have these stickers on a few different sides of the dog crates, especially if they're going underneath the plane. Um, so I will leave a link below and just be sure it's really more of a safety issue for not only your dog, but also for luggage handlers as well. All right, the last dog related item that I have is going to be just some clear uh, folders. So I really like using these that have a zipper pouch or these that have a nice pocket here. I think it's really important to keep all your dog paperwork together. And when you start moving around to different countries, you start receiving different paperwork and different shot paperwork or vaccinations um, in different languages. So I really like to keep all their paperwork in one folder. And that way, no matter what country I'm in, I have it all in one place. And I haven't forgotten about all you cat lovers out there. Thank you for sticking around to the end of this video. While I don't have a cat myself, I have looked to see what other people are interested in buying. Um, I've read some other blogs. So I found two cat things that I think are gonna be really helpful if you're traveling abroad with a cat. And the first is going to be a travel litter box. And again, I'm not super familiar with cats, but I know they probably need to go to the restroom eventually. And while airports do have an area for, you know, dogs to kind of go and there's fake grass, I'm not sure if cats always want to go in grass. So I think having this travel litter box will be really helpful for your cat. And I also found this cat scratch mat and it's really thin, so it will easily fit into your suitcase, even a carry-on suitcase. So I think it will be really helpful for your cat, maybe if they have a little bit of anxiety or anticipation for the travel or after the trip. Um, having this travel scratch pad, I think will be really helpful for your little kitty. All right, guys, that is everything that I use whenever we go on an international trip. We have taken our dogs to and from Angola a few times. We took them to and from Argentina and they use basically everything on this table for all of those flights. And I really think it will be beneficial for you as well to 
use some of these items. So definitely head below and check out those links and get whatever you need for your pet travel today. All right, guys, I'll see you next week. Bye.